Hello and welcome to Nelly Notion. This is the demo of the free version of the Notion period tracker. So when you first receive the Notion period tracker, you will have a PDF and that will have a duplicate link where you can duplicate the page. If you do not have Notion, simply go to notion.so and create an account. What this does is it tracks your period. It um, gives you a predicted period, a predicted ovulation date, and predicted fertile window. You can also see how many days you were late or early, track your symptoms for your overall period days, and um, see how many days to your next period. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through this. So when you first receive it, there will already be dates entered in. And this is just to kind of show you how it works. So I would recommend just looking over it, seeing how everything is. And then if you'd like, you can just go ahead and delete all of these. Or you can clear out the dates by highlighting all of the entries, right clicking going to edit property, date, and then selecting clear. And you can also do that for all of these. It's a longer way to do it. It's up to you which one you'd prefer, which option you prefer. So you can go to last period, minus, and it will delete all of those. And then you just do that for the symptoms. If you do delete them all, all you do is go to new, select the month of your period, And then enter in the name. I would recommend if you want to save um, and archive all your periods for the next year or the previous year, that you enter in the year after the month. So you would name it, enter in the date, enter in the last period. So your very first period entry you will not have a last period entry. Therefore, you will not get a predicted period until your second period entry. Let me go ahead and delete this. As you can see over here, this shows the current month period entry. So it gives you an overview. It tells you the dates of your period, the length of the period, the cycle days, your ovulation date, your fertile window. You'll also get an alert if you are fertile that particular day. So today, for example, is July 22nd and the fertile window is July 16th to the 22nd. So today that shows up. Tomorrow that will not be there. All the symptoms you've entered in will show up here, the days to your next period and the predicted period date. This will only show up here if you have entered a date for the current month. So for instance, this month is July. If I had not, did not have a period entered just yet on July, this would be empty. You can, however, see all your period entries in the all boards view and in the calendar view. In the main database, you can view them also here. Okay, we're going to go back to the default view, and I'm going to pretend that the month is August. So if you look down here, August is empty. I'm going to enter in a period date for August. Enter in the last month period. And as you can see, I can now see my cycle days, my predicted period. And according to my previous prediction, this period is one day early. Scroll over to the right and I can now enter in my symptoms. And as you can see, there's a large selection here 
I'll just select one thing for a demo, maybe two. And then when I scroll down here, you can see everything is entered right there and you can see the entry here. Now, you can just, when you first enter, just enter the first day because maybe you aren't sure just yet how long your period is going to be. And then you can just do this to add days or minus days. Now, as I said, because the current month is July, this is going to show the current month period entry. If you want to add reminders, you can enter them here. I cannot, Notion does not allow, uh, doesn't have an option to set reminders in formulas, so it had to set it up this way. So for instance, the predicted period is August 4th, and if you want a notification, you simply click on here, click on the predicted period date, and you will get a notification. And if you have the Notion mobile app, that notification will show on your phone. The instructions are also included. There is also a widget to show the moon phase if you'd like to also enter in the moon phase. And that is it for the free version of the Notion Period Tracker. So as you can see, when you first get it, you can delete or clear this out, enter in the month, the date, the previous period, and then the symptoms. And that is all you have to do for this to get all of this here. Um, as I said, your very first entry will not have a predicted period date because it doesn't have a last period entry. Once you have in your second period, you will have predicted period dates. There's also a paid version of the Notion Period Tracker. It is called the Notion Period 2.0. There are a lot of extras to it. You can also track your symptoms for each day instead of just the overall symptoms for that month. Um, there is a birth control log. There are menstrual phases shown. And oh, there's also averages and counts. So it's a pretty neat one if you want to, if you really like this one and you decide you want like an upgrade, you can purchase that one on gumroad.com, the same place you got here, the same page. I will leave the link in the description below. And I will also leave a video explaining how the period tracker 2.0 works. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you and have a great day.